Okay, there we go. What's up, everybody? Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to some more Troit Become Human. Hopefully, you guys are well. Welcome back to another live stream. Feel free to let me know how you are down below in the chat. And uh, welcome back. I'm glad to see you all. Hopefully, we can end up uh, continuing the story from where we left off on a good note. But, uh, yeah, I see that you're in here, Jake. What's up, Jake? How are you? Let me know how you are down below the chat. Yo, party crew. Hey, there we go. I lo I'd love to see the excitement. I'd love to see the hype. As we're watching uh, Claire here going to PTSD. cop in those specs oh you like the glasses oh thanks man Pre appreciate it. i'm glad you like you don't want to look fabulous <laughs> but uh i'm glad to see that you're uh, in the stream jake thank you for tuning in. i greatly appreciate it uh before we do begin though guys i want to let you know basically that uh for those of you guys that don't follow me on twitter or uh didn't check my discord or even looked at youtube lately uh, i didn't want to scare you guys but uh yeah it was true that i almost did indeed go to the hospital today i had an allergic reaction to one of my food allergies uh, but the good news is though, is that luckily I was able to take care of it. So nothing's going to stop me from streaming. Sorry if I scared you guys earlier with, uh, all that info, but, uh, it was just something I want to let you guys know just in case, but I'm not going to let the, uh, little food allergy, like, stop me. I'm not going to let my kryptonite prevent me from entertaining you guys. So hopefully we end up enjoying today's stream. And we've also got banana cake in here. What's up, banana cake? Uh, B-I, hi, are you okay? Uh, yeah, banana cake. I was just addressing everything, uh, about what happened earlier. Yes, that is very indeed true, Claire. Yeah, sorry if I'm spacing out, guys. Uh, dude, I got worried, but of course my man clutched the Kulag. Hey, there we go. There's the uh, there's the uh, custom emoticons. There we are. Spot the difference. Hi. Uh, we all see the other banana cake. Nice. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys. Basically, um, long story short, uh, if I seem like I'm spaced out, that's also because of the medication I'm on. Uh, basically, long story short... Um, we're back here on the tour become human and uh, I'm not gonna let the little food allergy reaction that I had earlier stop me Like I said for those guys that don't know what happened basically I was uh, I'm allergic to certain types of food and I had one of those on accident today But luckily I'm fine if I seem like I'm spacing out or I'm not really paying attention specifically because of the medication I took to resolve it it actually uh, makes you kind of like uh, sleepy slash uh, not as lucid, so I might be zoning out, so I do apologize, but I will uh, try to make sure that we end up having the stream here today. Thank you for seven viewers in the chat, by the way. I greatly appreciate it. I love how you guys are also uh, spamming the uh, the new emote. Yeah, sorry that that took so long to go through. It's just that Twitch got approved. it. Hopefully, they'll end up having the other ones go through as well. I just want to let you guys know I appreciate your support dearly, but uh, yeah, enough with uh, being like all derpy here. Let's end up playing some Detroit Become Human, shall we? That is really weird. Why the fuck is my... I'm sorry about the audio, by the way. And I, I don't understand why the heck that Claire, this android, is getting like, rid of us continuing the story. Gotta fix everything here. Hold on. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna continue the game, so here we go. I really don't understand how that she, like, got upset by me continuing the story. That was weird. But, uh, thank you for the, uh, fictional, uh, five dollars banana cake. I really appreciate it. I appreciate anything you guys give me. So whose story is this? Okay, it's Marcus. Oh, I bet we're gonna be visiting our dad, right? Visiting Carl. Yeah, Carl Manfred. 1963 to 2030. Holy shit, that guy was old then. Oh my god. Heartful, mournful, regretful, reflective.
heart full. I do call. Oh, why? why? What choice do I have? I miss you, Carl. Oh, I miss you so much. I completely understand, Marcus. Sorry if the audio was going in and out. That was really. S oh, you son of a bitch. Wow. Marcus is ballsy just to walk away from him. He looks like he saw a ghost. Well, that was deep. Oh, we did find a new hideout. Are we still at Jericho, actually? Are we at a church? I think we moved to a church now. But that beginning part was really powerful. Wow. Morning over Carl and just seeing the sun like that. That's just crazy. Marcus didn't even flinch. He just walked away. You gotta give him credit. I'm actually going to also see what you guys type, by the way. <laughs> I love the spam, though, that you guys had earlier, lol. I'm glad you guys uh, appreciate me streaming. I, I'm glad that you guys are thankful. Appreciate that, man. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Calm down, Jesus. I'm going to use my TTV account. All right, no problem. I'm doing schoolwork, LOL. Holy shit, my eyes hurt. Let me take a break off my screen, BRB. Yeah, you're all good, man. You're all good. Uh, talk to your people. Apologize to Kara. Decide Connor's fate. That's a lot all at once. So is everyone here then? Kara, Connor, and my people. I wonder if it's going to end up having all of us talk here. I got a lot of people looks like I got to talk to. Now, see, the funny thing is, though, is that last stream, I actually did manage to save everybody, so everybody's probably going to be really thankful. Uh, it's been a lot of work today. I'm really tired. Yeah, I can relate to that, man. I completely understand. Trust me. Uh, as for you, Ryan... Uh, I wanted to mention the thing about uh, you having trouble with the screen. Um, these glasses actually I have right here. Uh, these are actually just blue light glasses. These aren't prescription or anything. My eyesight's completely fine. But uh, I'm wearing these because I'm trying to protect my eyes from blue light. I recommend the same thing to you if you're worried about your eyes getting strained. I just got these literally in today. So uh, I'm going to start rocking these from when I'm playing games from now on to prevent my eyes from hurting. Yeah, we're like an all in a church. I just don't know uh, who I want to talk to. So Kara's over here with Allison. And then is this Connor back here? No, that doesn't look like Connor. Where the heck is Connor? That's Simon. I'm watching my fave streamer and doing schoolwork. Well, I'm glad that I'm your favorite streamer, man. Thank you. Uh, I I, th I think we can do everything, but just in case we can, I'll just mention, you know, Kara's apology first. So let's see if I can talk to everybody. Is her back here? Oh, it is her back here. Okay. All right, chat. Let's see what happens here. I thought you could save Stinger. I was wrong. You need to leave the city lights for good. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border.
I had no control on that dialogue for some reason. Oh. I will. This game has gotten awfully deep, I'm not gonna lie, man. So, is this Simon? Let's talk to him, I guess. Hey, Simon. Thank you, brother. I'm glad to see that everyone's on my side. That's good. Deciding Connor's fate. I have no idea how the Connor thing is going to work out. I'm just glad everyone's alive and they're all with each other all at once. That's just cool to me. I think we're just basically interviewing people to see how they feel about me. Uh, how many more people left do we got to talk to? Oh, this is Connor. Uh, I'll do him last then. Talk to your people. Actually, no, I'll, I'll talk to Connor now because uh, I really don't think it matters. Maybe if I talk to everyone all at once and I cut it off, let's talk to Connor. Trust. You're one of us, you know. Your place is in your group. Connor did nothing wrong. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? That's horrible. Connor, that's suicide. Anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. It's just crazy how things have changed. Okay, it looks like there's only one more person left to talk to. I'm guessing this is North, probably. It is. But it looks like everybody, maybe. Situation Survivor's Camp Wound. Really? Oh, wow. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred? You mean more people just heading out of the city? Do you 
Maybe we can bust everyone out of the camps. Talk about high stakes, Jesus Christ. We'll do this together, chat. We will. Just, wow. We're only like 16 minutes in and this is just the aftermath of what happened. Like, holy crap. Inform your people about your choice. I just have no idea how this is going to work, guys. I really don't. Because, like... Public opinion is going to matter a lot. And, like, here's the thing. There's always going to be more humans than androids. Unless we're either making more or we naturally, like, have a lot more out there than I think. So we need to be make sure that we're very careful. I'm just trying to think how that, like... We want to do this because we, we want to make sure that we stay on the side peaceful unless, like, we get attacked. Really, all we can do is try to, like, coexist and, like, um, just be like, hey, we're going to stay peaceful so that way the general public will keep us safe and, like, let us in their homes and, like, help us if need be or whatever and stuff like that. But uh, we'll fight if we have to. determine the future of our people. So this is what it is. Launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. Revolution. March peacefully towards the camps and pressure the authorities. Demonstration. Public opinion is supportive. This is a tough decision, I will say that one. Demonstration or a revolution? Launch a, a assault or march peacefully? Uh, chat, let me know what your advice is down below. I kind of I'm curious what you want to want to put. Because I, I feel like the the public opinion, if it doesn't go supportive, I feel like that we're kind of screwed. But at the same time, I don't want to necessarily do just pure all attack. We don't want war. We don't want genocide on our people. Because here's the thing is that it shows that like we can kill if we need to. Like... Uh, when we got attacked by the government at Jericho, we attacked to save our people. And uh, being peaceful this whole entire time has shown public opinion be supportive. So if we walk peacefully, I feel like it's a high chance of getting killed. But in the end, it will make it so that way we're most likely to get help. For like example, if Kara tries to escape 
uh, or if naturally people are just pure pressured into us, because Martin Luther King's mentality won, so war is not bad. We need to make sure that we're done peaceful. Okay, I'm going to end up going with peace. I really just hope this is the right choice. Pressure the authorities. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue to be free. Very true. A message stays. Because we can't back out of this. We have to stay peaceful. We have to stay on the side of peace. Night of the Souls or something. That's what I think it was. Marcus chose to protest for his people. I don't necessarily know how the story is going to go now. That Connor's technically a part of Marcus's story. But I guess he'll kind of be like a double agent. And I wonder what Carr is going to do. Let's have to wait and see, I guess. At 6 this, morning, this person looks like Hillary Clinton. Was Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please. Oh, I'm playing as everyone else, I guess. I'm talking like as the president or whatever. Oh, I'm playing as the president. The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please. This is interesting. Madam President, is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. Hmm. The situation is under control. A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm this report? I have no information on that at this time. Please. Madam President. Madam President. Please. How far does this go? Recall Center's public opinion. Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the Deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These Deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Ah. Thank you. That will be all. I, I didn't know I was going to restrict the questions. But I found I found that interesting how it kept public opinion really in mind. Oh, is that the border? Oh crud. Wow, things have changed at the border for sure. Oh, it's Connor. Connor model three one three two four eight three one seven. Is Connor letting out Kara into the uh, Canadian border? I hope that's what he's doing. It's crazy to see the border difference between Canada and, and Michigan like that. I'm like, wow.
Yeah, that's the tower. Okay. I really want to know how Connor's playing on doing this. I think every, I think everyone knows that I betrayed them. I, I I'm pretty sure they do. I I don't think that they think I'm completely innocent. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna try to jip me here. I I got a feeling that they know I betrayed them. I don't think that's completely uh, Agent Twenty Three identified. Yeah, I, I don't think that. I don't think that they're gonna let me in just unironically. I think they know. I mean, I don't know if I killed everyone that tried to attack me in Jericho, but I don't know. Let's have to wait and see, I guess. It just says follow the guard. Okay. Maybe he doesn't trust me because I am an android, so. I really wonder what has happened with the favor of the androids. Public opinion and the government definitely seem to be on polar opposite terms. Here's hoping I don't have to, like, kill, like, uh, Amanda or Marcus or, uh, Kara or even, uh, Hank, especially, anytime soon. I hope I don't have to do that, at least. Negative 49. Take out the guards or stop the floor. Hmm. Reconst oh, wait. Pre constructed. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to attack them then. That ended fast. Agent fifty four, level sub forty nine. Ha! I find that funny. I love how he was just able to imitate his voice. Although I don't know if anybody saw that, that's interesting. Reach the bus terminal. The last bus leaves in twenty minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I think I've been really cold. Y K five hundred setting hot slash cold sensitivity activated. Hmm. 
Deactivate, leave on. Why would I... Does deactivating it, like, screw with her or something that I don't know about? Um... Well, she needs to stay alive, so I'll say deactivate. Because uh, she, she needs to stay alive. Hopefully that doesn't screw us up by doing that. Oh crap, random people are just dead. Pick up the gun. Should I keep it? How much does it got in it? Come on. Don't stay here. Don't please don't hurt me. You're gonna find your name. What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we're gonna catch that bus. Sometimes you have to make the tough decisions. Don't kill me. I didn't do anything. Got up, I said. Are there many more? Lucky to be like friends. Or you look the boy to find. Or we don't have to spend the night here. Freezing my nuts off. Citizen Kate could be just as fucking disbelieving as our bar citizen. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. This is tough. Okay, so th th this this is tough. We've got 16 minutes and 56 seconds before the last bus. We can either save Luther or we can keep going. I got an extremely bad feeling about what will happen if we save Luther. And plus also, was that even really Luther, or is this just like a prank? 
Because some of the androids look alike. Okay, um... Dude, my gut instinct is saying that saving Luther is a bad idea. But then again, though, it might just be me not wanting to risk Allison. I'm trying to think how useful would Luther how useful would Luther be? See the problem is that right now it's literally me with one single gun with possibly like no ammo by the way against several of these military guys that could kill all of us. I honestly have to say we just keep going. I've already I've already tried saving Luther multiple times. But then again, though, if Luther dies, then Allison will hate me. You don't leave behind your people, I guess. A weapon. Do I have the gun? You want, you want to thank us? Get across the border with us. We've got to get going. We've really got to get going. High risk. I'm going low risk every time. There's no reason to not do it. Do we get past? Do we make it?
choose a route. Risky is three minutes, and the other one's eleven minutes. I just don't know what the time is in total. Uh, hey, Banana Cake, what's up? <sighs> We're going the other way. It's not worth it. Wait. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, shit. If we, if we go to safer, it's only going to be two minutes just short. We won't make it otherwise. Okay, here here's the thing that, that's going to suck, unfortunately. The safer route, even though it says 11 minutes, I don't know if that's actually real. Like, here's the thing. is like, let's think about this for a moment, chat. Like, let's think about this. Playing it safe has gotten me this far. I don't need to do anything stupid, right? And here's the thing is that if I go up to those trigger happy guards, everyone could fucking die. I'm taking the long route, even if it means I miss the bus, just solely because of the fact that Allison and, and Luther and everyone can still live in a little bit of hiding in a happy life in Detroit because it's not worth getting them killed. I'm going this way. We go around. We're coming to you live from Detroit where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we go. Convince the humans might be the best option. Here we go, Chad. This is going to be a very big, crucial mission once again. Let's make sure we do this right. I really want to make sure that we do this right. We, if this is like not going to be the best thing we can do, I, the message still lives on. Okay, I can't do anything, I guess. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. in camp and cease all aggression against us we are peaceful we will not resort to violence but we are not leaving until our people are free my heart is racing like a million miles an hour dude this is so crucial
wonder if one of them's gonna shoot me. No turning back now. Kneel, sit, raise hands, raise fist. I really hope the humans back me up. Wait, what? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away, and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Josh Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do? Hold out as long as we can. Can we just wait? Stay sharp. Shit. Oh, the camera watched me. Nope, nope, not happening. Sorry, I, 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 I don't care. That is something I didn't understand. I thought I got to pick. I didn't know it has to be multiple. Going back to main menu. I am so sorry, but it's not happening. I'm not get. I'm not getting Connor killed from lack of understanding controls. Nope, 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 nope. That was the one single time that I didn't understand the controls. Here's the thing, chat, is that I, I will let myself get Connor killed if it's legitimate. But that was stupid. I thought it was just only one thing that I had to hit, but I had to hit them all. That I misunderstood. I'm not letting that happen. Sorry. Okay, luckily it went just straight back to it. Okay, good. So this might just be another mission then. Yeah, the controls were misunderstood. I'm sorry, guys. But I'll make sure I get this taken care of now. See, with the fact of Connor killing this honestly might screw up the public opinion, but that's just me. Convert the ant- Wait, you can do this too, Connor? What? No fucking way can Connor do this. Absolutely no fucking way Connor's gonna get all of these guys. Um, that was not something I was expecting. What the hell? The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus has left the terminal. There will be no more buses until further notice. We need to leave. Security check. Please 
Okay, shit, I was not expecting this. He's gonna freak out and then he's gonna get me to scan. We just gotta run. Oh no, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I was not expecting to see Todd. Then go see your real one. Uh, is there a problem, sir? Please say no. No. Thank you. I made a mistake. Sorry. I've got to stop Alice. She doesn't know what she's doing. If he wants to, he can see his real daughter. Where you going, dude? I was not expecting this. Holy shit, they're helping. Oh, thank God you're alive. Oh, oh my God. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. Oh. You come looking for me. Where did you find us? I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? I don't think I have a choice.
th th these last few missions have been nuts. I'm glad that I've been able to keep them alive. I was so scared shitless when I saw Todd, dude. You have no idea, but I'm so glad that even Todd, of all people, managed to have his humanity to not do something stupid. So they're just going to let us peacefully protest? Well, thank God. I'm very glad. <sighs> it looks like I'm doing the right thing after all, chat. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Who am I talking to? We trying to keep ourselves safe from bullet fire is what I'm guessing. It's probably what it is. I'm just so glad that everyone managed to stay alive. Because I feel like I'm on edge every time I play this game, not going to lie. And hopefully this will keep Marcus safe during this protest. I'm glad they're even letting us protest. It seems like peaceful is the way to go. Public opinion does matter. Thank you, Josh. Okay. So we got to support our people, send a message to the journalists, and all that stuff. Okay. Thank you for five viewers, by the way, in the chat, everybody. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, sorry, like I said, if I'm not... Um, as peppy as, as usual, because uh, of the allergy reaction I had earlier, I'm awfully tired. So, uh, I'm just trying to make sure that I still do right while still, um, uh, not stressing myself out. I wonder if this is just one giant long mission. I'm just curious. They just stopped. They just they just left peacefully protest. I can understand the beliefs, but if we can get the public opinion to work out in our favor, then it should hopefully be good for us. We found what you asked for. Or these laser guns. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Yeah, we do. Free, alive, equality prisoners. Well, we want equality, right? So that's what we want. So equality. Oh, we actually got a new follower from uh, Juan. Thank you, Juan. Greatly appreciate it, man. Welcome to the live stream. Hopefully you end up enjoying what you're seeing, mate. Feel free to let me know how you are down below in the chat. Ah, come on. Equal rights for Android. See, yeah, see, people can't argue with equal, you know what I mean? Send a message to the journalists. But, uh, Juan, thank you for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. Feel free to let me know how you are down below in the chat. If you simply just want to watch but not necessarily talk, completely fine. I also understand, but I appreciate you nonetheless. I'm very glad that you're enjoying the live stream, guys. Thank you. Where am I also going? I'm here, hold on. 
That's like a little bit piece of the border. Looks like I gotta go over here. Okay, there we go. I gotta check the soldier's position, maybe, too. Yeah, they 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 know they know what's up. Why can I not check the guard guard's positioning? You know what I mean? This is not what it is. It's over on the one side, is it not? I think it might be over here. This camera angle is horrendous, dude. I don't know why it won't let me move. Ah, here we go. Not gonna let you. It's okay, Amir. I'm scared too. But I can't stand by while they kill our people. You understand this, right? Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we just stayed silent. No. No. It's not what it is at all. Trust me. I'm pretty sure this is where checking in on sh uh, the soldiers are. You know what I mean? Here, l let me try to check on the soldiers. I don't know why that, uh... It's only just now letting me do this. It is better than nothing. It's not really reassuring. Grim regrets, desperate doubts. And they're all kind of negative. Indeed. We are doing the right thing. I'm, I'm just glad they're not shooting us anymore. You can only kill people without them fighting you for so long. It just doesn't feel right. I just hope what Connor's doing doesn't screw things up. Speaking of Connor, I want to know what the heck the other things with the other Connor. That I was not expecting. Stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. You think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Marcus! Marcus, come look! What? What?
Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go. Refuse, this is a trap. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate, is that what you want? I gave you my answer. Want to play it like that? Okay. I'm not going out in the open being stupid like that. It's too easy to bait me. Well, I mean, they're trying to make it easy to bait me. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. I was not expecting that. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution. Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. Can I just turn the other car? Convince. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Is this how I sounded? Whoa. I'm sorry, Hank. Wait, no, 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 no! Stop fucking doing that! That's not what I meant. To decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? Save Hank. All right. All right. You win. Uh Who am I playing as here in this engine? I, okay, I'm only I'm only pausing cuz I I don't know what's going on. Shoot, interpose, what? And then convert. Hey Google, what's the definition of the word interpose? Here's the definition of interpose, place or insert between one thing and another. What? Hey Google, what's the definition of the word interpose? Here's the definition of interpose, place or insert between one thing and another. Hey Google, spell. Uh, hey Google, what's the definition of the word interpose? I don't know why. Hey Google, what's the definition hey Google, of the word interpose? Hey Google, explain the word interpose. Here's the definition of interpose, place or insert between one thing and another. So basically, it's like sacrifice. I'm getting in the way again. I don't know who the hell I'm playing as. I don't want to shoot. If I convert them, I might be able to have the androids help. That's what I'm saying, you know what I mean? I feel like if I get in the way, he's going to shoot me, so I'm going to hit convert. Did Hank die? Damn it, man. I have a goal. I know what I am. I wasn't trying to have Connor die. Or even Frank, uh, Hank die. I was hoping that it would actually save Hank by doing that. Fortunately, that's 
Holy shit. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. Wow. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Any last words? Fucking boom. That's my last words, bitch. Wake up. But did Hank actually die, though? That would suck. Am I dead? What happened? Did Connor live? Or did he die? Can I just get new parts again? You know what I mean? Did I make the right decision again or the wrong decision again? And, and I was trying to say Hank. I was going to be like, Hank, duck or something like that. And I didn't know that... I didn't know if getting in the way would actually, like, get me shot. But it looks like it kind of did anyway. I'm here, here's hoping that I live, but it looks like I got Hank killed. God damn it. Shit, man. Did anybody see you? No, no, no. I don't think so. So how's this gonna go? Damn it. We literally just gonna boat over to Canada? Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't start your engine until you have both. Take a boat, say goodbye. Who am I saying goodbye to? Oh, here we go. Say goodbye to them, right? Don't worry about us. We'll be fine. Why am I not able to say goodbye? Oh, there we go. It's not even a half mile to the other side. This one shouldn't take that long. Be careful. There's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Lucy. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. <laughs> you take good care of yourself. Thank you for everything. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> okay, I think Connor's alive because he wasn't dead. It just said that he, he was low on parts. But I can just get off the other Connor if it's not damaged, I guess. You know what I mean? As for Hank, I just feel bad, man. I don't know why it had to be that way. Freedom is just across the river. <sighs> At least she won't get cold now. Maybe that was a choice. Maybe if I left her warm for some reason, she would uh, freeze out here. Yeah, see? It points that out, but she's not going to get cold now. Alright, well, here we go. This is it, chat. I wonder if this is all one last big mission, you know what I mean? This actually might be the end of the game now that I think about it, because we've been playing a long time. I just don't understand why this mission's going on so long. Oh, it is this boat. Okay. Can we help you? I wonder what would have happened if I actually let it where Alice's temperature thing was turned off. Or, or uh, turned on compared to turn off. It's probably this piece. Yeah, let Luther help. <laughs> Here we go. This is it, boys. This is probably going to be the hardest part, but I guarantee that I'm, I got the confidence to succeed in it.
Go. Row the fucking boat. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, remember? Let's get that engine going. I'll get it. Oh, I actually am driving the boat. I'm going to be very careful about this. This is a trap. I'm trying to make you all comfortable with sweet talk. They're coming towards us. Surrender. Accelerate. Protect Alice. Plunge. Use Luther. Accelerate. That's the only thing I can do. Now we're trapped in the water, are you kidding me, man? I'm assuming Luther got shot, right? He's gone. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. You gotta be kidding me, man! You'll be okay, Alice. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get you taken care of as soon as we cross. You'll be fine. Oh, Luther's gone. They killed Luther. Shit. We gotta make this work. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry, Luther, but you gotta go overboard, man. I'm sorry, Luther. He's sinking us. He's too heavy. I'm sorry, Luther. I just gotta think, dude. We can't die here. Not like this. I won't let this happen. We're not moving. Not when we're so close. I can make it. 
I can make it. Come on, Karak, please. Push faster, for the love of God. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Josh? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the deviants were... I knew he was not to be trustworthy. Have Told you. apparently decided to put an end to the deviants' demonstration by force this time. Oh my goodness. We gotta go. No! I got this, I got this. Please tell me it's so. Please, pl please tell me it's so, goddammit! This has got to be the end of the game, I'm guessing. And may God bless the United States of America. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We've suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. I hope this is a good ending, if this is an ending. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins
begins the most challenging moment in our fight. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now, we are free. I really hope that this is an ending that's good if this is the ending, because this looks very close to the end of the game. I just wonder if Connor made an impact on Marcus and if Carr even lives. It looks like Marcus' story is wrapping up here. I really hope Connor and Kara and Alice all live. We're both breaking. I'm gonna have to give her my piece, aren't I? Yes. Keep going, come on, keep, keep. I can't just give her my part. I can't try to come back for her. Connor's brought people back from the dead. Why can't I with Allison? You know? Why, why can't I? Is that is that not a thing? Can I bring her back if she's just an android? Please? Please? I just... Just, I can't believe it. I'm completely and utterly shocked they would let me have that ending. Was there anything I could have done differently? If I protected Allison, would that really would have saved her? Who's this? This has got to be the end of the game. I'm almost positive of it. It has to be. I think we got to wrap up Connor's thing at the end here, but I'm not sure. Is this the end? Holy shit, that's the end. Wow. That's the end of the game. Holy shit. Wow. I just... I am in utter disbelief. I cannot believe that, man. Wow. What a game. What a game. I'm going to skip the credits if I can, because I don't know if this is copyrighted, but, um, 
while I'm wrapping up things here, I, I like how you use the damn for 100 meme points, uh, Joseph. What's up, man? But just, wow. So I'm curious, what exactly happened? Was Connor's ending open? Because I don't know if Connor even lived or not. Just wow. I'm actually complete shock. I was not expecting the end of the game. That happened just super fast. Like instantly. So my story basically was that Kara tried to save Alice and made made family with her and Luther along the way. But, in turn, ended up having her family die trying to escape with them. So she lived, and I'm glad she lived, but... It's unfortunate she had to lose her family, just based off of one decision. I feel like if I actually would have protected Allison, that we, I, I might have died instead. Uh, I, 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 don't, I honestly don't know what would generally would have happened if I actually uh, saved Alice specifically back on that boat. Or if also if I even left her with Todd. But yeah, I'm not going to leave her with him when he did that. You know what I mean? So it's showing all the different choices and everything, too. And then Connor's story. Connor, in turn, became a deviant and realized that he wanted to join the side of equality by fighting for the androids and stop fighting against them because they were kind of, like, contradicting each other. It's just kind of cool also to see all the different endings or parts here, too, as well. But, uh... Connor, yeah, basically, like, sacrificed himself. Either that or he did live to try to survive and fight for the cause and join Marcus so they stopped contradicting each other. But, um... In turn, that might have either sacrificed his life, and it definitely, I think, got Hanks. Even though that's not how I intended for it to play out. And then Marcus, he had the best ending, where he led and, and got his people freedom. I'm surprised they actually let you have Kara die at the end. Like, you could choose to kill yourself. I think that's very interesting. I, I know a lot of people that probably would have picked that, though. So, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that... Connor is alive, but I can't guarantee it. So, so far, as far as I'm aware, every one of the main androids live. Marcus, Kara, and Connor. But, other than getting rights, we unfortunately lost both uh, Hank and Alice, who are two great side characters. We even lost um, uh, Carl. Every one of the characters that were side characters to the main ones that they loved all died, unfortunately, it looks like. But it looks like that... It, in turn, worked out for the best possible path, which is uh, us having peace. So what happens now? Battle for Detroit. For the moment. That's ominous. What happens if I hit continue? Does it generally continue? There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. Oh. It affected her. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? Yeah. Wow. That's, that, that game was crazy. Holy shit. I, for some reason, in the back of my mind, I thought the game was going to continue, but wow. Holy shit, wow. 
So that was Detroit Become Human, ladies and gentlemen. An hour and a half of just pure awesome. Wow. Uh, I think that was all the last two missions, but uh, I might have to split that last one up into two. But who knows? It really just depends. But uh, yeah, just uh, the only option is new story, and then there's chapters now. So the hostage opening, shades of color, a new home, the painter, partners, stormy nights, broken, the interrogation, fugitives, from the dead, waiting for Hank, on the run, Jericho, the nest, time to decide, Zeltko? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Russian roulette, spare parts, the Eden Club, Pirates Co, bridge. Stanford Tower, Public Enemy, Midnight Train, Capital Park, Meet Kamsky, Freedom March, Last Chance Connor, Crossroads, Night of the Soul, and Battle for Detroit. Wow. That was crazy. You know, honestly, another thing I also want to do before we take off, guys, is also take a look at all these extras. Because there was an extra tab, and it looked like there was, like, bonus videos. So what do you say we watch these before we wrap up, shall we? I'm just curious what these were. I wonder how long these are. If they're long, I uh, won't watch them. But if they're short, I can watch them. Here, let me see. You want to buy this item? Is there generally different things? There's five videos in here I kind of want to watch. How, are they more expensive as they go on? No, they're all kind of the same. So let's watch these. I'm just curious. Kara, 2013. Oh, this was being ran on the PS3? Wow, that definitely looks like PS3. The way the, the art style is and everything. Kara. That is weird hearing her say stuff like that. My name is Kara. Initialization and memorization check. Now, can you move your arms? This is weird. To think that this game was back on the PS3. Upper limb connection checked. Now say something in German. Ich bin eine AX400 Android dritter Generation, erschaffen als ihr persönlicher Assistent und intimer Beziehungspartner. Say it in French. Je suis un Android de troisième génération AX400, conçu pour être votre assistant personnel, votre personnalité. Okay, now sing something in Japanese. If this is not copyright, I'm going to keep this in here. This is interesting as hell. This is weird, dude. Multilingual verbal expression check. Go ahead, take a few steps. Hmm. Locomotion checked. Great. You're ready for work. Oh, Kara's naked. What's going to happen to me now? I'll reinitialize you and send you to a store to be sold. Sold? I'm a sort of merchandise. Is that right? Yeah. Of course you're merchandise, baby. I mean, you're a computer with arms and legs and capable of doing all sorts of things. And you're worth a fortune. Oh, I see it. I thought... You thought? What did you think? I thought... I was alive. Shit, what is this crap? That's not part of the protocol. More memory components going off the rails. Okay, recording. Defective model. Disassemble and check the required components. Disassembling me, but why? You're not supposed to think that sort of stuff. You're not supposed to think at all, period. You must have a defective piece or a software problem no, somewhere. No, I feel perfectly fine, I assure you. Everything is alright. I have 
answered all the tests correctly, didn't I? Yeah, but your behavior is non-standard. Please, I'm begging you, please don't disassemble me. I'm sorry, honey, but defective models have to be eliminated. That's my job. If a client comes back with a complaint, I'm going to have some explaining to do. I won't cause any problems, I promise. I'll do everything I'm asked to. I won't say another word. I won't think anymore. But I've only just been born. You can't kill me yet. Stop, will you please? Stop! I'm scared! I want to live. Begging you. So even back then, she was sentient. That's just crazy, man. Wow. Stay in line, okay? I don't want any trouble. I'm just glad you let her live. Thanks. Oh, and that's weird. There's all other cars there. It's like a brand. So that's the video. Jesus, man, that's crazy. So meeting them. Here's another video. Is this an aftermath, maybe? My name is Kara. My name is Kara. I am one of them. This is our story. Oh, this is literally like an interview. I'll look into those in my private time because I don't want to necessarily make it where um, I get copyright because I don't know about that one. But I want to see these last few, like these last three. I'm curious about Chloe. What about her? Before the game. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. Were these all released on YouTube, like, before the game came out? I'm just curious. What about Luther? Oh, 
This is awfully haunting now that I know he's dead now. Oh, what the hell? Wow. I don't know where that came from, but that, wow, that was powerful. Considering the fact that we're also at the end of the game now. Alright, last one about Kamsky, the guy that made the androids in the first place. I'm just curious about his story. In the space of a few years, androids have completely transformed the world in which we live. By letting androids into our homes and factories, the CyberLife company has made them everyday technology. The founder of CyberLife, Elijah Kamsky, is a very discreet man. Despite being the CEO of the highest valued company in the world and being voted man of the year by Century Magazine, he remains a mystery for most people. That's why we at KMC are so excited to be here as CyberLife opens its doors for the first time. Elijah oh. Kamsky, could you please tell us where we are? Certainly, and welcome. We're currently in CyberLife's production center in Detroit, where all models are designed and manufactured. More than 10,000 androids come off the production line every day. Fascinating. Could you tell us what your goal was when you founded CyberLife? Hmm. Well, I simply wanted to use technology to carry out all of our most annoying and repetitive tasks so we'd have more time to enjoy life. I imagine you must have faced many challenges. Yes, there were technical challenges, but the hardest thing was to design an object that we would want to welcome into our homes. We had to imagine a machine in our own image that resembles us in every way, that moves, breathes, blinks like us, but yet is smarter and more capable than any human being. Let me show you around. It's funny, a lot of people always are like being like, yeah, we, we want to have technology like this, but yet we're worried it's going to overthrow, so don't do it. Otherwise, this would happen then in real life. Like when people talk about bringing back dinosaurs. And then we apply a synthetic skin to the whole body. A human operator checks the cognitive abilities with a pre-established protocol, and finally, the android is conditioned and sent out throughout the country. Here's the result. Say something. Hello. I am a RZ400 model. How can I be of service? You can go now. Our this is going to be Elon Musk in a few years. <laughs> For example, they represent more than 80% of all university professors and 63% of all medical staff. Tomorrow they'll replace our soldiers. And who knows, maybe one day, our leaders to make the best decisions in humanity's interest. Come on. Replacing humans with machines has led to record unemployment of 28%. <laughs> what do you think about the situation? Uh, <laughs> okay. The first steam engines also caused an increase in unemployment. But no one today would imagine turning back the clock. Artificial intelligence makes everyday lives easier. Nothing can stop progress. What's happening here is inevitable. These days, more and more people choose to live with an android rather than another human being. Does this development worry you? Hmm. Everything's much easier with an android. Obey your orders without ever complaining. They can cook, discuss philosophy with you, have intimate relationships according to your desires. They never say no. That's what's creepy about, though. Obviously, they are the perfect partner. Everyone.
one deserves happiness. Why deprive yourself of so-called moral reasons when a machine can make you happy? Many science fiction books tell the story of how machines become more intelligent than us and end up confronting us. Aren't you worried about that possibility? I understand the irrational fears about artificial intelligence, but I assure you that will never happen with a cyberlife android. They're designed to obey humans, to machines. They can't ever develop uh, any sort of desires or, or form of consciousness. Are you sure? I'm absolutely certain. I wonder if this was before Trust me. beforehand on YouTube that they posted these videos, or if you only just find this after you earn enough credits at the end of the game. But wow. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. Holy crap. So yeah, that is the ending in Detroit Become Human. Wow. That is a lot all at once. Holy crap. Alrighty, guys. Well, I was not expecting the ending of the game to be this soon. But holy shit, wow, was that a good game. I am very much looking forward to when you guys get to see this on YouTube. And thank you for experiencing this with me here today. And uh, despite what happened at the very end with some sad parts, I think overall this is a really great story. So yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. Look forward to more videos and a new walkthrough coming very soon. But I hope you guys end up enjoying the walkthrough of Detroit Become Human. If you did, please drop a follow. It's always greatly appreciated. And I'll let you guys know when I am live streaming next. I hope you guys enjoyed another live stream or YouTube video from the most unique content creator you're ever going to see. Peace out, guys. Thank you for everything.